Okay, so good day everyone. This will be our module 2 for the structural engineering and construction. Okay, so let's begin with this basic problem. So here, uh, we can see this is an overhanging beam or that is a cantilever beam. This is fixed at A and we have this also overhanging to D uh, to that direction. Okay, so it, it is loaded with uh, uniformly distributive load and also this um, concentrated load at this um, end okay so calculate the vertical reaction a the moment reaction at a and al also the torsion that the beam is resisting okay so ano ito? so drawing the free body diagram okay so the vertical reaction at a of course this one okay and this moment reaction at a that is due to bending okay about the axis axis of bending and this is the axis of bending as you can see and it will bend pa ganito okay and the torsion that the beam is res resisting that is just the moment along the longitudinal axis of this beam okay so if this is the longitudinal axis or um, as you can see no that is just if this is um, y axis x axis this will be the z axis okay it's up to you um, saan mo i-orient yung axis mo okay so torsion is just the moment about the longitudinal axis ito yon. okay and let's call that um, torsional moment okay so calculating the vertical reaction at A um, take note no pinakita ko na to diretso um, this uniformly distributive load dito that is just this uh, 20 kilonewtons times 1 meters. This is just the resultant of this uniformly distributive load dito. Okay? Yan yun. Kaya naging 20 kilonewtons. That is the resultant. 20 times 1 meters. Okay? So, if we will look at this in this plane, ganyan. Okay? So, ito yung makikita natin dito. To calculate this RA and also to calculate the moment at A. Okay? So, as you can see, if we take summation of forces vertical, that will be RA minus 20 times 3, that is just the resultant of this uniformly distributive load, minus 20 and minus 35. And we have the reaction at A, that one. Okay, and this moment at A, we can calculate that by summation of moments. Okay, so we have this one. Unahin natin to. That is 20 plus 35 times the moment arm na 3 plus 20 times 3. That is just first the resultant. Multiplied by the moment arm, of course, the resultant of this will be acting at the half of 3 meters or 1.5. Okay, that are all clockwise rotation. That will be minus MA, that is counterclockwise, is equals to 0. Okay, so... I assume here that the clockwise rotation is positive and counterclockwise rotation is negative. But anyway, you can take uh, vice versa. Okay, it's up to you. Okay, so we have the moment at A as 255 kilonewtons meter. Okay, how about the torsion that the beam is resisting? Okay, so we can imagine it this way. Okay, balik muna natin. Okay, so the torsion is that one. Okay, if we will look at this in this plane, ito yung makikita natin. Okay, so we have the loads and klarong-klaro, ito yung moment, uh, torsional moment about this axis. Okay, so by that, we can say that the torsion, torsional moment is just 20, okay, this is the resultant, 20 times half ng 1 meters or 0.5 plus 35 times the moment arm na 1 meter. And that is the answer, 45 kilonewtons per meter. Okay, so for my students, no, as you can see, parang yung choices natin is nagkamali ako. Okay, so please take note of this. Nagkamali ako sa choices sa module nyo. Okay, so um, let's have another example. Okay, puro engineer, engineering mechanics yung isasolve natin ngayon. Okay, so the beam BC shown is supported by a quarter circular arc AC. This one, having a radius of 4 meters as we can see. And we have this uniformly distributive load uh, dito sa taas. What is the vertical reaction at A? What is the total reaction at C? And what is the total reaction at B? 
Okay, so we, we should calculate these reactions dito. So how can we do that? Okay, so first, uh, we need to draw the free body diagram. Okay, the free body diagram. Black natin. This is pin and pin. So we have um, two reaction at, at that points. Okay, of course, it will resist translation against any any direction but mas magandang gawin natin sa siya sa x and y axis okay now reaction at a vertical reaction at a so how can we solve this okay so we can take moment at b or we can take moment at a unahin natin yung mga horizontal reactions okay so by this i will um, calculate first the horizontal reaction at A. Okay, by summation of moment about B, that should be 0. As you can see, that will be, unahin natin to, that is 3 kN per meter. Take note that this is 4 meters. Okay, so that is just the radius of this circular arc times 4, that is the resultant, times 2 pa. Take note that dito nag act yung resultant times the moment arm. Then, this will create counterclockwise moment at B, and that is AH times 4 meters. And first, we calculate the AH. Now, how can we solve the AV dito, or the vertical reaction at A that is required for number 1? Okay, of course, hindi natin to ma direct solve by using this whole system. Okay, as you can see, if we take this whole system and summation of forces vertical, we have this AV and BB, dalawang unknown. Or if you take moment about C, marami pa unknown. That EV and that one. Okay, so, mas magandang gawin dito is, since this is a frame, and take note, in calculating frames, um, ini-isolate natin. Technique dito is, i-isolate natin per members. Okay, pag hindi kaya sa buong system, i-isolate natin per members. So, this is member BC, and this is member AC. So, i-calculate natin yung member AC since ito pa yung una natin na kukunin. Okay, so isolating these two. And take note, we calculated the AV. So, by this, okay, as you can see, if we take moment at C, we can calculate already the AV. And actually, that is just AV, okay, clockwise rotation, times 4, that is the radius minus 6 and of course this is also 4 since that is also the radius okay and AV is just the same sa AH natin and that is 6 kN okay now the total reaction at C now I want to take uh, I want to discuss this uh, principle no? okay look at this this is CV of course and this is CH okay and hinahanap dito is the total reaction. That is just the resultant of this um, two component reaction. And that is one. Okay, ito yung hinahanap RC. Let's call that resultant at C. Now, as you can see, okay, observe this. If this is a member loaded at end points or at two points, okay, look at this, at this one and at this one, as you can um, analyze, no? AB by equilibrium, this AB should be equals to CV because wala naman ibang forces dito na um, na involved, the vertical forces. Of course, this should be equal. And also, the 6 kN, the horizontal reaction, must be equals to CH. Okay? As you can see, now this is one of the principles sa engineering mechanics, the two force members. If this, if we have a member that is only loaded at two points, okay, take note, a member that is only loaded at two points and walang moment reaction dyan, okay, since um, commonly in frames, uh, that is pin to pin man, okay, so if that is loaded between two points, that is called a um, two force member, okay, take note, two force member is a member on a structure that is not loaded in between the body nya. Okay, it is only lo loaded it between two points, this one and in this one. Ang walang um, force or walang weight dito na nag in between the body. So, ano ba yung um, advantage natin if we can directly see 
in the structure that that is a two force member okay by equilibrium yung sinabi ko of course if this is equals this reaction here and that reaction is equals and also this horizontal reaction here and that is the horizontal reaction at this point is equal meaning the resultant reaction of a will be just equals to resultant reaction at c okay so ito yon pinakita ko av should be equals to ac and of course ah should be equals to ch and of course by that we can say that the reaction at c should be equals to the reaction of a okay or we can directly say that rc is equals to ch squared plus cb squared okay unahin muna natin to okay ito yon so the reaction at c should be equals to the reaction at a now um what if um, hindi natin yun ah, since alam natin no, na um, that, that the re uh, resultant reaction at A is equal to the resultant reaction at C because we already know that this force I mean this member is a two force member pwede nang hindi na natin ito i-isolate kanina pa kumbaga mas ma um, ma maximize natin yung time in solving this problem okay yan yun of course this should be equal but opposite reaction and um, dapat collinear sila da para mag equilibrium talaga okay so look at this that is a two force member okay balik natin okay so gusto natin kunin yung reaction at C so klarong klaro no sa pinakita natin kanina yung RA should be equals to RC so pwede natin yan i-direct doon okay so ano yung advantage natin dito hindi na tayo um, dadaan sa components since look at this if that is a two force member we can take advantage in the geometric um, form dito look at this by knowing that this is a two force member we can actually calculate the angle of inclination ng reaction of re, uh, total reaction of A by just um, trigonometry dito or plane geometry diba? Uh, if we know this that is 4 meters of course this uh, this is just the radius and this is also 4 meters meaning that is 45 degrees our total reaction at a is 45 degrees with the horizontal and since we know that ra is equals to rc we can directly uh, transfer it dito okay ra is equals to rc ah is equals to um, ch and vv is equals to um, cv okay so as you can see Kanina pa, pwede nating mapadali yung solution natin. Okay, so calculate the reaction at A. So, of course, we can take moment at B. I know. And that is 3 times 4. This should be summation of moment about B, okay? Okay, this is B. Na mistype ko na naman. So, that will be, if we take moment about B, that will be 3 kN times 4 times the moment arm na 2 minus AV so as you can see no AV yung matitirang um, force dito na magcreate ng moment AV this AH cannot create moment about B okay so that minus AV times 4 now as you can see AV here is just RA sine of 45 okay that is just the sine component of RA so uh, um, kunin mo na uh, let's calculate na lang muna yung AB dito. Yan yung AB because ito yung hinahanap sa re I mean sa number 1, okay? Now for number 2, the total reaction at A as as, as you can see, sinabi ko kanina, RA is just RC and that is just RA, okay? Now take note that AV is just sine component of RA. Okay, since alam natin yung um angle of inclination ng force na yan. So, we can directly calculate RA and take note that is just RC. Okay, ito lang yun. AV is equal to RA. But, but take note, we calculated already the AV, that one. Therefore, RA is equal to 6 over sine of 45 degrees. Okay, so that is part 2. So, as you can see, mas na-compress natin yung time. Okay, hindi na natin kailangan dumaan sa AH, uh, yung AV, mas diretso na. Kasi, ito yung advantage ng two force member. Pinaka-objective or pinaka-gamit na gamit natin sa two force member is 
we can directly calculate the angle of inclination. And that is a big advantage kasi we can express the components into the total reaction. Okay, now, how to calculate the total reaction at B? So, dito, look at this. Ano yung pinagkaiba niya dito sa uh, member AC? This is not a two-force member, yung member BC. Okay, so, uh, we need to calculate talaga yung BH and BB dito, una. Okay, since hindi ito two-force member, uh, may load siya in between the body. Again, basta may load in, the, in between the body, that is not a two-force member. If walang load between this body, that is the two-force member. Okay? So, by this, um, ito yung hinahanap, RB. And we can calculate that by summation of forces vertical. Okay? BB muna yung kukune natin. Okay. Summation of forces vertical, as you can see, that will be BB plus AB. But take note, AB is 6 kN minus 3 times the... Um, distance or length 4 meters and we have BV now how to calculate BH so tingnan nyo ano yung mga forces involved along horizontal for along horizontal axis that is just BH and AH okay so we have RA so by summation of forces horizontal BH plus AH is equals to 0 but of course AH is just um, RA, that is cosine 45, okay? And RA is 88.49 cosine of 45 degrees, equate to 0, and we have the VH. And that is actually negative, meaning yung assumption natin dito that, that it is going to the right, mali, mali siya. That is actually going to the left, okay? But anyways, um, the same, um, I mean, numerical reaction lang naman siya. Okay, so B, uh, RB is just equals to the square root of the BB squared plus the BH squared. Okay, so take note that will be positive lang yung lalabas na absolute reaction. And that is 8.49 pa rin. Okay, 